Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using if statements in Ruby. Now, an if statement is a special structure that we can use in Ruby in order to help our programs to make decisions. They also help our programs to respond to the different information in the program. So if certain information has certain values, we can do certain things. If other information has different values, we can do different things. Basically, if statements make our programs a little bit smarter. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you guys a basic overview of if statements, what we can do with them, how we can use them, and essentially just get you guys up and running with if statements. So over here, I just have this little text file, and uh, it actually has some common if statements that uh, human beings every day will encounter. So believe it or not, if statements also apply to like human beings. So let me show you guys a couple of these. The first one up here says, I wake up. If I'm hungry, I eat breakfast. So let's break this down a little bit. You'll see right here, we have a condition, right? If I'm hungry, this condition is either true or false, right? On the condition that they're hungry, then they're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. If they're not hungry though, if this condition's false, then we're just gonna move on and they're not gonna eat breakfast, right? That's something that pretty much every morning, everybody is going to have to like ask themselves at some point. Here's another one, it says, I leave my house. If it's cloudy, I bring an umbrella. Otherwise, I bring sunglasses. So up here, you'll notice the same pattern. We have another condition, right? The condition is if it's cloudy. If that condition's true, if it is indeed cloudy, then they're gonna bring the umbrella. But if the condition's false, in other words, if it's not cloudy, then we're gonna come down here and we'll bring the sunglasses. So this one's a little bit different from the one up above because if this condition, if it's not cloudy, if this is false, then we're gonna do something else. All right, so I have one more down here at the bottom. It says, I'm at a restaurant. If I want meat, I order a steak. Otherwise, if I want pasta, I order spaghetti and meatballs. Otherwise, I order a salad. So this one's even more complex, right? We have our condition. It says, if I want meat, if that's true, we order the steak. Otherwise, if that's false, in other words, if you don't want meat, then we check another condition. So we're checking to see if we want pasta. If that's true, we get the spaghetti and meatballs. Finally though, if this is false, then we get the salad. So these are three basic if statements. And these are three if statements that we could actually use. And these are the types of things that we can do inside of our program. So we can specify certain conditions if those conditions are true, we can do certain things. If those conditions are not true, we can do other things. So I'm gonna show you guys basically how this works. Let's go over here to our Ruby file. So I'm just in my draft.rb file. And I'm gonna create a if statement. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. The first thing we're gonna do before we actually make the if statement is just make a variable. So I'm just gonna call it isMail. And this is gonna be a Boolean variable. It's gonna tell us whether or not someone is male. So let's say this is a piece of information that we were storing inside of our program, like whether or not someone's male. So in my case, I am a male, so I'm gonna set it equal to true. So down here, we can actually make an if statement. So we can do something depending on the value of this variable is male. So I can say if, and over here, I wanna specify a condition. So remember, when we were looking at those text files, it was like, if it's cloudy, or if I'm hungry, or if I want meat, right? We were giving these those statements different conditions. In this case, we're gonna specify our own condition. So I'm gonna say, if is male. And inside of this condition, we need to include either a true or a false value. So Booleans are great with this because a Boolean can either have a value of true or false. So I can say, if is male, and then down here, I just wanna type out end. Now, whatever goes in between if and end is gonna get executed when is male is true. So over here, we could just put you are male, right? And so now, because is male is true, when I run my program, you'll see over here it says you are male. So the program's working. If I was to change is male to false, however, so I'm just gonna put false, now you'll see that this code isn't getting executed, so we're not printing anything out. That's the basics of an if statement, right? I can specify a condition. If the condition's true, then we'll execute the code down here. If the condition's false, we just skip over it. So I also wanna show you guys um, how we can use something called an else. So basically, what happens if we wanna do something when the person's not male? 
right? So we have it covered. If the person's male, we're gonna tell them they're a male. But what if they're not a male? Well, I can actually come down here and I can type out else. So I'm just gonna say else. And then again, below else, I'm gonna put code. So I could say puts you are not male. So now we basically have an if statement that will handle both of the possible scenarios. So if they're male, it'll tell them they're male. Otherwise, it'll tell them they're not male. So you'll see is male is false. And over here, we'll t we're telling them that they're not male. If I was to change this back to true, now it's gonna say you are male. So it's essentially able to react to the value of that variable. Let's make this if statement a little bit more complex. So why don't we add in another Boolean variable? I'm gonna say is tall. And we'll set is tall equal to, actually we'll set it to true initially. We'll also set this to true. So is tall will tell us whether or not a specific person or a specific entity you know, is tall. So what happens down here if we wanna do something when they're male and they're also tall? I can actually use another keyword in Ruby, which is called and. So I could say if is male and is tall. And basically what this is gonna do is it's going to execute the code inside of here when they're both male and they're also tall. So here we could say you are a tall male. And so now this code is only gonna execute when is male is true and is tall is true. So they're both true right now, let's run our program. It says you are a tall male. But if I was to set one of these equal to false, so for example, if I set in is tall equal to false, now it's not gonna tell us that we are a tall male anymore. So it's just gonna say you are not male. Although I guess we would have to change this down here. So we, we could say you are either not male or not tall or both. And so now it's telling us you're either not male or not tall or both because we know for a fact that they're not male and tall. So that's how we can, get, we can check two conditions. And in addition to using an and, I could also use another keyword called or. Basically, this will execute if they're either male or if they're tall. So only one of these variables has to be true now, right? This is gonna execute if they're male or if they're tall. So you'll see over here, is male is true and is tall is false but this is still gonna execute you are a tall male. And obviously we could change you know, whatever's getting printed out there, but hopefully you get the point. When we say and, both of the conditions have to be true. So if I was to say is male and is tall, these would both have to be true in order for this code to get executed. If I say or, only one of them needs to be true. Now both of them can still be true and we'll still execute that code, but only one of them has to be true. And if both of them are false, then we'll execute the code down here. So I'm gonna go back to is male and is tall. And let's say that I want to check to see the other conditions, right? So we're, we're already checking one condition. We're checking to see if they're male and they're tall. But what if we wanted to do something when they're male and they're not tall? Well, I can use something called an else if. And an else if is basically another keyword in Ruby that will check another condition. So I could say like ELSIF, and this just stands for else if. And I wanna type in another condition after this. So why don't we check to see if they're male. So I'm gonna say else if is male. And I wanna check to see that they're not tall. And the way that I can check to see if they're not something is I can use a exclamation point. So if I said and exclamation point is tall, this is basically saying not is tall. So when they're not tall, this is gonna be true. And we're doing that using this exclamation point. It's called the negation operator. So down here, we can put some more code. So I could just say puts you are a short male, right? Basically what's happening is it's gonna check this if condition. So Ruby's gonna check this if statement up here. If they're either not male or they're not tall. So in other words, if this whole thing is false, it's gonna come down here and it's gonna check this next condition. And if this is false, it's gonna go down to the else. But if this is true, it'll execute the code inside here. And there's actually one more scenario that we could cover, which is when they're tall, but they're not a male. So I'm gonna use another else if, I'll say else if not is male, so I'm using that exclamation point, and is tall. And if this is true, then we can just print out 
you are not male, but are tall. And then also down here, if the code inside of this else block is getting executed, then we're gonna know that they're not male and not tall. So we can say you are not male and not tall. All right, so let's go ahead and run our program. So I'm gonna set is male equal to true and is tall equal to true right off the bat just to start. So I'm running the program and you'll see it's able to handle that situation. It says you are a tall male. If I was to set is male equal to false though, our program is gonna be able to handle that situation. So it's gonna say you are not male, but are tall, right? Our program just by using these if statements was able to give us information based off of these values. If I was to make is tall false and is male true, it's gonna be able to handle that. So it'll say you are a short male. If I make both of these false, it's gonna be able to handle that as well. So it's gonna say you are not male and not tall. So that's the basics of using if statements. You can see down here, I'm checking a condition. And in a lot of cases, you're gonna to wanna to check more than one condition. So you can use either and or or. I'm checking these conditions. If the condition is true, then we'll execute the code down here. And by the way, you can put as much code down here as you'd want. I mean, I could put hundreds of lines of code if I wanted to. So I'm using the if statements and I'm using these else ifs and I'm using this else in order to catch all of these different scenarios. And these else ifs are really useful because you can check multiple conditions when other conditions are false. So that's the basics of working with if statements. There's actually some more stuff we can learn with these. Um, instead of just using Booleans like true and false, we can also use things called comparisons. And I'm gonna be talking about that in the next tutorial. But for now, this has just kind of been a, a brief introduction into if statements in Ruby. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.